Is this what nuclear war would look like? Gay, after the pilot's mother, lifted off from the island of Tinian in the Marianas group of islands. Inola Gay carried the first nuclear weapon, codename Little Boy. Its primary target, Hiroshima. The weapon was so successful, it destroyed the entire city of Hiroshima, killing 70,000 people. Here is the pictorial record of the result. At zero point, directly beneath the explosion. The soldier in the scene is pointing at the spot from which all damage to the surrounding area was measured in terms of distance from the center of the blast. Within a mile of zero point, the devastation speaks for itself. But in these very ruins, army cameramen have found and filmed pictorial evidence that tells in twisted steel and stone the effect of death-dealing atomic power. The shock and devastation were so great that news of the attack did not reach Japanese authorities quickly. When it did, they could not believe the accounts. U.S. authorities interpreted Japan's delay in responding to their ultimatum as defiance and proceeded with the second attack. Three days later, on August 9, Boxcar delivered the plutonium bomb codenamed Fat Man to the city of Nagasaki. It killed a further 20,000 people outright. By the end of the year, a further 90,000 succumbed to injury from the two attacks. Scientists studied closely the effects of the two blasts, in particular the effects of overpressure damage to buildings and structures. The blast also left behind the eerie shadows of humans on sidewalks and fences, burnt in by the intense flash of light at detonation. There was also radiation both direct lethal doses from the detonation and from the large amount of fissile material and contaminated debris cast into the air and blown about by the winds. This would come to be known as fallout, highly toxic dust and debris that falls downwind from the nuclear detonation, contaminating the ground and water supplies. 
Of the energy released, 40 to 50 percent was blast. Heat or thermal radiation was 30 to 40 percent. Ionizing radiation accounted for 5 percent, and the remaining 5 percent was made up of residue fallout radiation. The U.S. quickly began to research weapon design, but did not be concern among the population. The government tried to ease fears of red aggressors by releasing several handy films on self-protection from the nuclear threat, all highlighting sensible action to be taken during a nuclear attack. One of us must remember to do the same thing. That's what this film is all about. Duck and cover. We all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, we must get ready for it, just as we are ready for many other dangers that are around us all the time. You know the places marked with the S sign? There are safe places to go when you hear the alarm. If there is a warning, you will hear it before the bomb explodes. But sometimes, and this is very, very important, sometimes the bomb might explode without any warning. Then the first thing we would know about it would be the flash. And that means duck and cover fast, wherever you are. There's no time to look around or wait. Be like Bert. When there is a flash, duck and...